Welcome to the Lippus Report. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of the Lippus Report podcast. I'm Nick Lippis, your host for today's discussion with Gontam Roy, Senior Product Marketing Manager at Brocade. Well, Gontam and I will share with you the test results of the Brocade VDX 6740 Topper Rack Switch that was recently evaluated at Ixia's iSim City. Well, let me give you a brief synopsis before introducing Gontam. For this Lippis Ixia evaluation at iSim City, Brocade submitted the VDX 6740, which is Brocade's flagship Topper Rack Switch that's built with Brocade's virtual cluster switching technology, an Ethernet fabric innovation that addresses the unique requirements of highly virtualized cloud data center environments. The line rate, low latency VDX6740 fixed configuration switch is available in two models. The VDX6740 with up to 64 one or 10 gigabit Ethernet SFP plus ports and the VDX6740T with 48 1 or 10 gigabit Ethernet GBase T ports and four 40 gigabit Ethernet SFP plus ports. The VDX 6740 series switches are based on a single custom ASIC fabric switching technology and runs the feature-rich Brocade network operating system 4.1.0 with VCS fabric technology. Ethernet fabrics are driving new levels of efficiency and automation in modern data centers and cloud infrastructures. Ethernet fabrics built on Brocade VCS fabric technology provide automation, efficiency, and VM awareness compared to traditional network architectures and competitive fabric offerings. We populated and tested the Brocade VDX 6740's 10 and 40 gigabit Ethernet ports for performance and power consumption. In this podcast, Gontam Roy of Brocade joins me to review the VDX 6740 test methodologies and its test results. Well, with that said, say hello, Gontam, and welcome to the Lippus Report podcast. Hello, Nick. Uh, it's great to be here and talk to you about the VDX 6740 data center switch and its independent test results. Excellent. Great, Gontam. Well, I'm really glad you're here as well. And also, the test results were spectacular. So um, this is going to be a lot of fun to go through. So uh, let's start with a description of the VDX 6740 and the type of networking environments and architectures it's been designed to, to handle. Sure, Nick. So uh, Brocade's VDX 6740 and the 6740T uh, are Ethernet fabric top of rack switches. Uh, which feature 10 giggy ports with 40 gig uplinks. And the new Brocade VDX 6740T 1G um, offers dual speed functionality. Uh, it can initially be deployed with 1000 base T for existing 1 gig server connections and then upgraded via software to 10 gig for future bandwidth growth. So, together with Brocade's VCS fabric technology, Uh, These top-of-rack switches deliver the high performance and low latency uh, needed to support demanding virtualized data center environments. Excellent. Great. Thank you, Gontam. Uh, Now let's get to the test results. We first tested the VDX 6740 for Layer 2 and 3 unicast latency plus throughput and found that the VDX 6740 is one of the fastest top-of-rack data center switches in the industry with average Layer 2 latency of 790 nanoseconds to 1.1 microseconds across packet sizes of 64 to 9,216 bytes. Average Layer 3 latency was 776 nanoseconds to 1.1 microseconds. That is, there is no latency difference between Layer 2 and 3 forwarding. There is only one other top of rack switch that we've measured lower latency in all the Lippus Ixia industry tests, but it does not offer a fabric approach as brocade. As the VDX 6740 was loaded with 40 10 gigabit Ethernet and four 40 gigabit Ethernet ports of traffic at wire speed across a wide range of packet sizes, not a single packet was dropped. We then tested for IP multicast latency and found that the VDX 6740 demonstrated zero packet loss across all packet sizes, while Ixia test gear transmitted IP multicast traffic to the VDX 6740. IP multicast latencies range from a low of 733 nanoseconds at 64 byte-sized packets to a high of 8,101 nanoseconds at 9,216 byte-sized packets. 
These test results are very competitive to other IP multicast forwarding measurements we've observed at the Ixia ISIM City Lab during the Lipis Ixia tests. Now for congestion measurement test results. To understand how the VDX6740 behaves during periods of congestion, the VDX6740 was configured with two groups of four ports, one group of 10 gigabit Ethernet and the other with 40 gigabit Ethernet to measure congestion performance at 10 and 40 gigabit Ethernet line rate. For 10 gigabit Ethernet and 40 gigabit Ethernet groups, a single port was flooded with 150% of line rate traffic while Ixia test gear measured packet loss, head of line blocking, and back pressure or pause frames. The VDX6740 demonstrated 100% of aggregated forwarding rates as a percentage of line rate during congestion conditions. The VDX6740 did not show head of line blocking behavior which means that as the 10 and 40 gigabit Ethernet ports became congested, it did not impact the performance of other ports, assuring reliable operation during congestion conditions. As with most topper rack switches, the Brocade VDX6740 did use back pressure as the Ixia test gear detected flow control frames. Now for real world cloud performance test results. To test the VDX6740 in real world environments, we stressed it via the Lipis IX Cloud Performance Test. The VDX6740 performed flawlessly over the six Lipis Cloud Performance iterations. Not a single pack was dropped as the mix of east to west and north to south traffic increased in load from 50% to 100% of link capacity. Average latency varied across protocol or traffic type. Average latency within protocol or traffic type was stubbornly consistent as aggregated traffic load was increased. The difference in latency measurements between 50% and 100% of load across protocols was the following. 2,439 nanoseconds, 47 nanoseconds, 2,992 nanoseconds, 68 nanoseconds, 36 nanoseconds, 4,126 nanoseconds, and 33 nanoseconds respectively for the following protocols. HTTP at 10 gigabit Ethernet, HTTP at 40 gigabit Ethernet, YouTube at 10 gigabit and also 40 gigabit Ethernet, iSCSI, database traffic, and Microsoft Exchange traffic. The VDX6740 was one of the only top and rack switches to perform at zero packet loss at 100% load. Next, we tested the VDX6740 to see how much power it would draw. As power consumption is an important data center resource to be minimized, we measured the VDX6740's power draw. We found that the 6740 is one of the most power efficient top rack switches we have tested and represents a new breed of cloud network top rack switches with power efficiency being a core value. Its power draw per 10 gigabit ethernet port is a mere 2.57 watts and its tier value is 368. Now remember, higher tier values are better than lower ones. The VDX6740 was equipped with two power supplies, which is industry standard. Considering its watts per port and cost per watts per year per 10 gigabit ethernet, the Brocade VDX6740 is one of the lowest power consuming top of rack switches on the market. The cost to power the Brocade VDX6740 per 10 gigabit Ethernet is calculated at $3.13 per year. The three-year cost to power the VDX6740 is estimated at $600.76 and represents less than 1.6% of its list price. In keeping with data center best practices, its cooling fans flow air front to back. Well, that concludes the test results. Gontam, any final remarks? Nick, thanks very much for giving Brocade the opportunity to test our new VDX 6740 top of rack switch at Ixia Labs. As you noted from your test, uh, from the test results, Brocade is extending its industry leadership in the Ethernet fabric segment with products like the VDX 6740, enabling customers to embrace an automated networking architecture that can radically improve business efficiency and scalability while delivering a solution for cloud-optimized data center. Excellent. Uh, well, that's great, Gontam. And uh, we've been talking about the Brocade VDX6740 performance and power consumption test results with Gontam Roy, Senior Product Marketing Manager at Brocade. Gontam, thank you so very much. Thank you, Nick. That concludes this edition of the Lipis Report. 
Thank you for joining us. Look for us every Tuesday and Thursday. To get your free subscription to the Lippis Report newsletter, go to www.lippis.com. To sponsor the Lippis Report podcast, send email to sales at lippis.com. We've got to go, and so do you. See you next time.